Just smell that air, Bessie. Doesn't it make you feel good to be alive? Does it? Oh, it does, I. Alive and free, Betty. Free? Free, Betty. I am no longer struggle with the demon weed. I am no longer a slave to my craving. Uh, uh, oh, that perfume. Ah, oh, it's you, Vera, my love. You what? What was your note, Blackwood? Oh, I put on you, my angel. Look, do you think you could manage to go down and bring a few barrels? Look, they, they just give us a minute, will you? I just want to nip outside and sniff the Weatherfield ozone. What's your note, Blackwood, eh? Look what I've been missing all these years, Betty. What's got into him? Oh, I don't know. Here, how on its work? Betsy, love, you know that magenta? I bet she's done it. Mm -hmm. Hiya, morning, guys. Hiya. Oh, morning, lovies. Here, Natalie, you know that magenta? I think she's cured him. Who? Oh, really? Yeah, you know that woman I took him to, you know, to yeah. stop smoking? Qualified hypnotist. Oh, aye. She, like, puts you in a trance and suggests things. It's really fascinating. So what do you mean? She's put Jack in a trance and told him to stop smoking? Oh, yeah. She's fully trained, you know. Trained in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Well, you should have got her to suggest that he upped our wages. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. what? <laughs> Listen, now I know it works. There's a few things she can suggest for me. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, girls. Oh, hiya, Jack. Hi, Jack. Been out for a puff? Wash your mouth out. <laughs> what kind of washing up liquid do you use? Hey? Oh, look, take a notice of him. Anyway, you got another match last night. What was the score? Lost. One nil. Do you know they couldn't find the net if they were deep sea fishermen? Next time you want to get Des to take you to an away game. Still be a rubbish match. At least you'll have a day out, won't you? Hiya. Hey. Sort of. Hey? Oh, I'm gonna be late, I'll tell you about it in a bit. Morning. Hey. See you, mate. Hiya. Oh, yeah. See ya. I'll see you. Do you have to go now? Only for a bit. An hour. Then I'll pop back, alright. I'll not be long. Oh, suit yourself. Right. Look. Why don't I book an appointment see Doctor? Doctor, why? Well, because you've been under a lot of pressure. A lot of stress. He might be able to give you something. Like what? I don't know. Something to make you better. You need help, Zoe. We need help. You have to see proper people, professional people. People who know what's what. I've had social workers and psychiatrists all my flaming life. I've had them talking to me in the soft, snooty voices. Do you think they really care? Do you think they really want to help? Yeah. Don't they? Right, well, if they do, why did they keep losing my files? Why did they keep changing my social worker? Why did they keep swapping me from children's home to foster parents, foster parents to children's home? I don't know. No, you don't. Go to work, Ashley. I said go to work! <laughs> what did you mean that that letter was sort of for me? It's a reply from Waitley. What, from the prison? Yeah. Then it's my letter. Lee! Well, oh, come on then, what does it say? He says thanks for writing. He doesn't normally get many letters. Oh, he, he likes your name. His parole board meets soon. And he'd like to meet you. Oh, he's giving me the creeps, this. No, it's brilliant. Brilliant? Brilliant? What do you mean, brilliant? Well, what are you going to do now? Hiya. Hiya, Liz. How is he? Oh, still the same. 
Hey, listen, thanks for going in. No sweat. Well, it were really nice, and I'm sure it helped. That's no problem. So what's the next stage? Me and Steve are going in to see the consultant now, so it depends what he says, really. See you later. Take care. Yeah, see you. Something funny going on there. Steve's acting odd. How do you mean odd? Well, I don't know. Just a feeling I get. To. Yeah. Like feeling I have to start. Hey, it's not kicking already, is it? Oh. No. <laughs> right then, uh, I'd best be off. I'll see you later. See ya. Uh, I don't know, maybe. But you promised. Are you all right? Yeah, well, shouldn't be. OK, you ready? Yeah, yeah, sure. So it's right about the football, then, is it? Yeah. And Des took you, did he? Yes, that's right. No skin off my nose. Just can't see what the big secret's all about. Um, there is no big secret, Samantha. Oh, really? So why is Jack making such a big deal out of it, then? Well, I don't think he is. Like I said, no skin off my nose. Good. Here, what do you think you're doing? We're just about to open up. What is this, wench? You are. I'll take my aisle when I like. Tis a fine thing when a landlord cannot taste the fruit of his own barrel. Jack. Now be off to the scullery before I take thee across my knee. Verily. Nice spot of ale, this. Oh, I can't be long more to be waiting. You're really considerate, aren't you? Well. I've never met anyone like that before. You bet than all them social workers I've had. But well, they're no nice ones. There was a cleaner was nice to me in my first kid's home. You never put me into care, would you? Of course not. I'm sorry. What do you mean? Well, all this hassle and stuff. You've been really good to me, Ashley. Kind and patient. Well, we're going to put all this behind us now, aren't we? A new start. Look. As a jest you like. Well, why don't we give Shannon stuff to Gary and Judy for new baby? OK. Yeah, yeah, fine. Right, I'm off. Ashley? Yeah? Um. What time will you be back tonight? Usual. I'll see ya. on Jim? Don't know. I feel really sorry for Liz, don't you? It must be horrible for her. Mm. All right. What? I went to a football match with Des. That's it. End of story. Well, good. Cos, like I said, it's nice. Yeah, no skin off your nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I just don't see why you have to keep it from me, that's all. I didn't! Why, it is young Natalie. Alas, for the taken, I'll be pound. I tell you, lass, let's go to the stable while the Harridan is still about her tutors. Jack, what are you on about? Oh. Oh, hello, Natalie. Love, I have no pot to say you. Any more left in it? Yeah. Um, are you okay this morning? Yeah. 
time. Hey. What? What are you playing at? I'm on a warning. She won't notice one. She will. Now give her some money or give them back. You can sort it. No, I can't. Now just give her some money, will you? Oh, what's the matter with you? Me? There's nothing wrong with me. Look, I like this job and I want to keep it. Now you're going to pay up or what? Sorry. Is there a problem? <clears throat> not as far as I can see, but your staff's not too clever. Um, Zoe's forgot a purse. I see. Well, I'm sure Zoe will pay us later, won't you? Sure. How are you feeling now, Lo? Fine, why? Well, you've been through a rough time. Yeah, well, I'm all right. Are you sure? Sure. What do you mean, sure? Of course I'm sure. What's the matter with everyone around here? I spend months where no one will even give me time of day and then all of a sudden I've got prayers and tears and sympathy everywhere I flaming well walk. Just get off my case, will you? Sorry. Oh, don't you apologise, love. That poor girl, she's just a fuse waiting to be lit. All it'll take is one spark, then God help us. <laughs> Usual tincture, please, landlord. Certainly, sir. Wench, take his lordship's horse round to the stables and let it sup also. Did you wear that? Here we are, sir. I hope that is to your liking. Two groats, if you please. And cheap at the price, tavern keeper. Mm. Worth every farthing. <laughs> Jack. Jack. J Jack. Who calls? What is a shrew? What is it, woman? Can you come through with me and sit back now? You know, come with me. <laughs> the magic of Lusty Jack still works its wonders, do you see? You've got to wait your turn, woman. I've got other wenches to serve as a poor thee. But if you go yonder and prepare my victuals, I might step in shortly. You what? Go on, then. Be off with you. <laughs> Well, I was on the wrong side of Zoe's tongue this morning. Oh, dear, what happened? Well, I simply asked if she's all right, and she flew at me. Afternoon. Afternoon. May I join you, charming ladies? Yes, of course you can. Yes, of course. But in what way? Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Elliot. We were just recounting our different experiences of young Zoe. Oh, what you done now? Well, I was just saying how Zoe went for me this morning. At least in my case, it was only verbal, unlike Emily. You know what? She went for you, Emily, physically. Uh, well, but I, she's under a lot of stress. Well, so am I, but I don't go around bashing folk. If Gary hadn't been there, God knows what would have happened. Right, what do you want, Vera? Oh, you're not lusty. I'm hungry. What's for dinner? Come here. Look, Kibble, what's the matter with you? Look, I'm feeling your head. Are you sure you're all right? All right, I'm all right. I'm never better. You don't want your head examining. Never mind dinner. I'll go and get some crisps. You are right, Faye? That's how Jack is reversed. He's what? He's reversed. Ever since he went to that hypnotic, so he thinks there's somebody from a bygone age. He's just reversed. Regressed? No, you don't think he has. But what else can he be? What do you think you're playing at? Oi! I said, what do you think you're playing at? I could have got the sack because of you. Leave me alone. <sighs> I thought we were mates. So did I. Yeah, well, mates don't ask each other to nick for them. They do. Yeah, well, not anymore. Things are different now. Times have changed. I know. I used to have a baby. I oh, know. I'm sorry. A lot of things will get better. Will they? Yeah, of course they will. How do you know? Well, they're bound to. In time. You'll see. So we all care about you, you know. Care about me? Why? Why? Zoe. Zoe, where are you going? Come back and sit. Zoe! Zoe! Uh, oh. Zoe, come back! What's going on? Right, come on. 
Listen, I have this great idea about Waitley. What? Waitley. Anyway, his parole meets soon, yeah, so he might be getting released. I reckon you should write to him again and find out when. Oh, stuff him! Where are you going? To find out before I get back to work. I'll see you later. Is there any news? No, no more news, really. Just have to be patient. Uh, is Steve around? Yeah. Uh... Steve! Yeah. Mum? Hiya. The doctor show? Eventually. And? You were right, he couldn't tell me any more. Well, I suppose they'll tell you more when they know more, but until then. No news is good news. Yeah. Steve, while I'm here. Just show me what happened. You are joking. No, I'm just trying to understand. Get a picture of what happened. I'd feel better. You mean you want someone to put the blame on? No, of course not. I'm trying to understand what happened. Well, he was drunk, as usual. Believe it. Well? Do you remember any more? Oh, no more than I told you before. They heard a crash and then Steve shouting that his dad had fallen. Yeah, but how? Had he slipped? I don't know. I'll see you later, Mike. Yeah. Not now. Hey? Not now. Why? What's the matter? Certain people weren't impressed by our football match attendance. You mean Samantha? Well, what's it got to do with their flaming cheese? Shh. I'll take him back on. Brilliant. Thanks, Kev. At least that'll give him something to look forward to. No problem. See you later. See you later. See you. How do you? Hiya. Powdered milk. Yeah. Cotton wool buds. Uh, that'll be five ninety seven, please, love. Brilliant, there you go. Oh. He's a lovely lad, isn't he? Yeah, I'm trying to remind myself of that at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> right. Thanks a lot. Picked up. See you later. Where's our Ashley? Out back. Ah, there you are. I've come to see you. Oh, I. Oh, I indeed. You and me need to have a talk about your young lady. Are you aware that she's caused Emily Bishop grievous bodily harm? Yes, I am. And that she's bad-mouthed Rita this morning? No, I didn't know that. But I'll have a word with her, all right. It's more than just a word she needs now. It's psychiatric help. The electric chair. You mean ECT? I know what I mean, thank you. She doesn't. Well, maybe she does, I don't know. Just leave with me, I'll sort it, will you? Good. Make sure you do. You shouldn't have the cares of the world on your shoulders. Not at your age. Maybe. I don't know. She seemed to be fine when I left her. We had a long chat. I thought now she understands. I'm sure things will be better now. Really? Tea's ready. What? You all right? You're miles away again. Am I? A waste have got a drummer, Gary. Liz came down to the site today. Oh, yeah? Just to pass on news about Jim. Well, when she was asking about how the accident happened, Steve got all defensive. You were talking about this this morning. What's going on? I don't know. But some it is. What the? Come and get your stupid dolly for you. Carrie, what's she doing? I don't Come know. On, Come and get it. But I've had enough of it. What the hell do you think you're playing at? I'm helping you out, Gary. Just like you helped me. Oh no, my mistake. You didn't help me, you used me. That's enough. Yeah, it might be for you. Or you, or you, but it isn't for me. You used me, Gary. You took my baby. You killed her. Shh, just shut Gary. up. Go inside. Go inside. Yeah, we wouldn't want the poor mother to be to get stressed out, eh? Oh, yeah, she's pregnant of the sprout, didn't you know? I said that's enough. Come here. Keep away from me. So we put that down. I said keep away. So we just, just listen to me. 
I did that already, and where did it get me? I listened to you, and where am I? My baby's dead, and you just move on to another one. What are you, a flaming conveyor belt or something? Can't Zoe, have one, stop stop steal it. one, dump that and get one of your own. But I reckon I'm bad. Zoe, calm down. Calm down, everyone's saying that to me these days. I'll calm down when I give you what you deserve. So where's my Zoe, things Zoe, on you, baby? And this Zoe, is what I hope happens to it. Gary! 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 Get off me! You are locking up, your mad cow! Gary! Let it go! Get it! That's it! Gary! I'm calling the police! No, don't do that, please! Well, what would you do, Ashley? She's gone too far! Listen, Gary, she's upset. I asked you to control her, didn't I? But you can't do it, can you? I'll sort it, really. Just give me a chance, Gary. I'll make sure she gets help from proper people, please. Ashley, she is out of control. She's not well. Right. All right. But if anything like this happens again, if she even looks sideways at Jude, I'll phone the police and she'll end up where she belongs. Banged up where she can't do any harm. 